Greetings all, Banny here for Taurus's daily oracle message. Alright, Taurus, two cards came out straight away for you. The first one is, let it go. You're being asked to let go of whatever pain and resentment you've been holding on to. It's hurting you, and you cannot fully be present in your life if you give, if you're holding on to its negativity. Release it and be free. And it could be traumatic responses from the past. It could be how people in general treated you and that has created how you expect people to treat you or how you treat people now. For myself, it has a lot to do with the bullying that I went through in school every single day from teachers and students. And I still carry a lot of that pain. I still carry a lot of that resentment, but it's only hurting me. I doubt they even think of me anymore. And, the, and I'm still giving them so much power because I'm still letting their words affect me. And I know that that is something that I still need to move on from. The other card that came out for you is abundance. You're being asked to open to abundance, to believe that you're deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you. This is the first important step towards receiving it. Breathe deeply and trust that it is on its way. Absolutely. To to be in an energy of abundance, you have to have the mindset of abundance. But so often when we want the abundance, we're in a mindset and energy of lack because we want it and we think it's not ours to have. But when we think it's not ours to have, then it isn't because we're not in... When people say you need to be in alignment with the energy, think of it like thresholds. Low vibrational energies like guilt, shame, fear, doubt, blame... Whatever that is, greed, negativity, possessiveness, that is like all in like this will energy. But the energy of love, the energy of acceptance, the energy of validation, and the energy of abundance are in these like threshold tiers above the negativity. And you have to pull yourself from that by starting to love yourself, by starting to see yourself as someone that is worthy of abundance. And the more you pull away from that, the less that impact that has an impact on you. And the more you can be in the receiving energy of whatever it is that you are affirming in your life. Affirmations are wonderful for that because it works with the law of attraction. What you speak becomes your reality. So by saying things like, I am abundant and worthy of success. I am grateful that I was able to pay my bills. I am grateful that I have a roof over my head. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me have this. That is an energy of abundance. By stating that you already have things, that you are already abundant in something, it brings more of it in because Spirit also recognizes that you recognize it as a blessing. That is just one thing that I have done. The other card that came out for you is focus. You're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is. Paying extra attention to where you put your focus is in the first step towards creating an amazing life. And creating is so important. Get creative with whatever it is you're working on. If something in your business isn't working, maybe you need to steer in a different direction and actually make the movements towards something that you know you can do. For example, if you're a creative person and one approach that you're taking isn't quite working, but there's something that's been sitting in the back of your mind that you like doing, but you don't know that will be accepted, put some time and energy into that because it might be more accepted than you think. It might be more welcome than you think. Whatever it is, shift your focus, but still keep your eye on whatever it is that you're doing and allow yourself to let go of the preconceived notions of what you think your success will look like. Because I promise you, it's more beautiful, more abundant than anything your mortal mind can think of because your success and your abundance is divinely guided and divinely led, which also means that it's part of a divine plan that is more beautiful and more inspiring than most of us can think of are on our own. And so Taurus, don't limit yourself, shift your focus, and find ways that you can bring more abundance in your life with affirmations. Have a beautiful day, my love.